Hello and welcome to our addition and subtraction flipped video. So um, I want you to have your recording sheet ready and in front of you and I want to make sure that you know that you can pause and restart this video anytime that you need. We will discuss this next week in class but I definitely wanted you to have an intro and we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, remember if you have any questions you can always contact your teacher or any other teacher in the grade level if you need some help. Let's start off with the vocabulary, and I know there's a lot of vocabulary, but it's important because you'll be asked questions like this sometimes. So let's talk about what is addition. It's the process of uniting two or more numbers into a sum. And here's already the word sum, which is another one of our words. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. That's addition. Add-ins, the number and addition problem, problems that are added together to form a sum. This is your add-in, and this is your add-in. Sum, the answer to an addition problem. That's the sum. Okay, let's talk about subtraction. This is the process of finding the difference between two numbers. So if I wanted to go 6 minus 4, well, that is going to equal 2. Difference, this is the difference. That is the um, answer to a subtraction problem. Please pause this video and so you can write these down and get them on your recording sheet. I'm going to go ahead and move on, but just know that you can pause and rewatch anytime that you need to. Let's look at some examples. So, I have 497 plus 828. So, I'm always going to start in the ones place. Okay? So, I'm going to start over here and I'm going to say 7 plus 8. That's 15. I'm going to carry my 1 over to the tens place. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Carry that 1. 4 plus 8 is 12, plus 1 is going to be 13. So my answer is 1,325. Let's look over here. 8,207 plus 516. 7 plus 6. Well, that's going to equal 13. I'm going to carry the 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, plus 1 is 2. I don't have anything to carry that time. 2 plus 5 is 7, nothing to carry. And then 8, so my answer is 8,723. Let's look at subtraction. So, I cannot take 0 away from 3. I would normally borrow from the tens place, but I can't borrow from the tens place. So I have to jump all the way over to the hundreds place. I cannot do 0 minus 3 is 3. Because if I have zero dollars and I want to go into a store and buy something for three dollars, they're going to tell me no. So I'm going to borrow from this hundreds place and I'm going to make this a three. And I'm going to drop ten off here. I'm going to take that ten and make it a nine and I'm going to drop ten off here. Now I can do ten minus three, which is seven. Nine minus seven, which is two. And three minus one is also two. Let's look over here. 2 minus 6. Well, I cannot do that, but I do have something to borrow from right here. So I can make this 9 and 8, and I'm going to move 10 over here. So this is going to become a 12 now, not a 2. 12 minus 6 is 6. I can do 8 minus 7, which is 1. I cannot do 1 minus 8, so I have to come over here to the thousands place and borrow. And I'm moving 10 over here, so this is going to become 11, not 1. Um, so it's 11, and 11 minus 8 is going to be 3, and then 5. So my answer is 5,316. Let's move on. Got some larger numbers here to work with. So I'm going to add 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. Five or 2 plus 5 is going to be 7. 8 plus 4 is 12. 3 and 1 is 4 and 2. So my answer is 242,770. Now I have a very large number and I have to borrow. I can't do 0 minus 3. I can't do 0 minus 7. 0 minus 6. I don't even have anything to borrow from. So I have to jump all the way over here. I have to make this a 6 and I have to drop 10 off here. Borrow from here. That becomes a 9. Drop 10 off here, borrow from here, that becomes a 9. And then this becomes a 10, no longer a 0. 
10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 6. So my answer is going to be 62,327. Let's look over here at this problem. And here we're going to use a, some script diagrams. So there are 124 dogwood trees, 107 maple trees currently in the park. Park workers will plant 136 more dogwood trees today. How many dogwood trees will the park have when the workers are finished? So I need to know how many dogwood trees will the park have when the workers are finished. I'm going to do a box over here. And I'm going to think about how many steps do I think this problem is going to be. So I'm going to say it's probably going to be a one, two-step problem. First, 124 dogwood trees and 107 maple trees. Well, I'm only asking for dogwood trees, so they tried to trick me here. I do not need maple trees. There are 124 dogwood trees, um, and I'm just going to skip this, in, currently in the park. The park workers will plant 136 more dogwood trees today. So that means that I'm going to do some dogwood trees and some more dogwood trees. So I'm going to do a strip diagram. And here's what a strip diagram is going to look like. I want to know how many dogwood trees the park will have when the workers are finished. So I'm going to write a sentence. The park will have blank total dogwood trees. You need to make sure that you do this for your word problem too. Write your sentence. So there are 124 dogwood trees. So I'm going to make my box. It's not half. It's a little bit less than half. So I'm going to make this box less than half and I'm going to write 124. And then they're going to plant 136 more dogwood trees. So this box is going to be a little bit bigger because there's 136 more. So I know that I'm doing some and some more. Some dogwood trees and some more dogwood trees equals the total number of dogwood trees. So 124 plus 136, 4 plus 6 is 10, carry the 1. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6, carry Oh, there's nothing to carry, sorry, and two. So my answer is going to be 260 total dogwood trees. So I only had a one-step problem. I thought I had a two-step problem because they tried to trick me with the maple trees. Those tricky maple trees. Let's look at the second one. There are 106 crayons and 120 pencils in the drawer. Mike placed 114 more crayons in the drawer. How many total crayons are there in the drawer? Well, this one's trying to trick me again. So I'm going to do this first. Pencils. No pencils, because the question is not asking me how many pencils. So I'm trying to figure out the answer to how many total crayons are there in the drawer. And I'm going to say there are blank total crayons. In the drawer. Okay. Then I know that I'm going to draw a strip diagram for addition because I know that I'm adding in this problem. I'm going to say that this is a one-step problem. That's how many steps I have. So 106 crayons and 114 more. So 106 is less than 114 more. 106, 114. What is that going to equal? So 114 plus 106, 4 plus 6 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I have 220 total crayons, okay? Please let me know if you have any questions, pause and rewatch this as many times as you need to, and don't forget to complete your um, homework sheet. Have a great day.